Hi everybody, this is Empath Shaman Healer coming at you. Sit down. Oh no, leave it cracked open. Hi everyone, this is Empath Shaman Healer coming at you. Sorry, <laughs> got the kiddo uh, hanging out. Um, today's reading is going to be intense. We're going to be doing fairies. So if this is coming across your timeline, you have interest in fairies. So fairies may be coming across your timeline. Um, nature, big nature energy. Um, the earth may be calling to you. Um, earth spirits may be calling to you right now. Um, your ancestors may be trying to get your attention because by the way, All Saints Day is coming up um, the day after Halloween, so on Tuesday. So it is heavy spiritual energy. We're doing this during a full moon. I am currently doing this during um, like an hour before the witching hour so when the spiritual energy is electric during this full moon so I'm doing a nighttime full moon reading to connect to Mother Kai to connect to Mother Gaia um, to connect to our ancestors to connect to our spirit guides um, to connect to the, our angels our angelic um, team so hopefully this reading will resonate it will uh, strike many chords so if this is showing up on your timeline know this video is timeless and it was meant to find you so i hope you will stay during the entire reading and uh kick back and hopefully there's some information here to guide you on what mother gaia mother earth has been trying to get your attention about mother kai by the way in case you didn't know earth is called kai so mother kai mother gaia is trying to get your attention so that you can um there's a shift and everyone's feeling it. And if you're not feeling the shift, then you are just not in tune and this video is probably not for you. But if you have been feeling this energetic shift, have been tired, have been like spiritually feeling super spiritually drained, have been sleepy a lot, have um, but then having restless sleeps, not sleeping all the way through the evening, this video is definitely for you because that means your ancestors and angels and guardian angels are trying to get your attention um to tune into whatever message they're trying to get you to pay attention to late night right and it could be your soul star family amongst many things but i know mother kai has been trying to warn us because i think there's going to be a bunch of natural disasters happening i see there's already a few already taking place hurricanes earthquakes um volcanoes erupting that's pele um the water spirits are pissed. Let me tell you that. The water spirits are pissed. The ocean is pissed. I don't know what we're doing to the ocean. And I think they've been trying to warn us years ago, like decades ago, to stop polluting the water. And we haven't stopped polluting the water. We have contaminated the water to the point it's undrinkable, it's unbearable, it's actually unlivable. Um, and it is killing, it's making not just us sick, it is making the ecosystem sick. And... Um, so it's just very important. It is just very important that we pay attention to this reading. Like I said, I was called to do this reading. Um, I just knew I was supposed to do this reading. And um, yeah, it's raining. Sorry, I was just listening. I'm like, is it raining? Because my window's open. Give me a second, you guys. Let me close this window. It just started like raining, raining. Speak of the water spirits, right? Sit down, Bubba. You know what? I'm gonna let that time for you. I'm gonna go out. My dog is so fussy. She don't know what she want to do. So, I ain't gonna make her stay. With that being said, let's get started, you guys. I'm going to cleanse the energy. Nala. All right. I'm going to cleanse the energy. Oh. You say hello to the chat. I've been asked what my dog is. Um, my dog is a Pitbull Shepherd mix. And her name is Nala. Alright, so now that we've gotten rid of that stagnant, stuck energy out of here. 
Let me put this somewhere I can actually grab it later. Ah, let's put it right there for now. Let's start with who this reading is for. Let's start with some numbers. See if any numbers call out to you. Let's start with some number dice. Start with some number dice. All right, we got the luck of Nala. We have six, one, two, three, seven. Take them numbers, how that resonate. You could be a life path six, you could be a life path one, you could be a life path two, a life path three, or a life path seven. All right, this is who this reading is for. Again, or your birthday could be on the sixth or the first, first of a month. You know, your birthday could be in January, June, February, March or um, July, all right? Or the, your birth, your day, the day of your birthday could be on those days. Or it could be on the 12th, because I'm seeing 12. Could be on the 16th or the 17th. Um, could be on the 26th, the 27th, the 21st, 23rd, the 13th, the 17th, like I said. All right, take that how that resonates. Let's pull some signs and symbols, some charms. So in case you're unfamiliar, this full moon was a lunar full moon, super powerful, super intense, um, a lot of chaotic, but it's a fertility moon, right? So um rituals witchcraft is high in the air during halloween scorpio you're talking about occult season you're talking about spirit um ancestor spirit season um and you're talking about a taurus moon oh my god like you're talking about people making sacrifices to the bull that's 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 material wealth that's material um uh, materialism um you know it's it's a it's a it's a it is a very occultic moon this week. I'm talking about high occult energies in the air. High, you know, the darker, not dark magic, you know, dark mage energy is in the air, not the light. Okay. So I'm not saying that the light isn't here. My point is just stay safe. And it was a it was called a hunter moon. So you'll be seeing like man hunts. Some people on the run, um, I'm getting manhunts, people on the run, because a hunter moon, right? So hunting people down, um, just harmful things, right? Like negative energy in that sense. So be safe, you guys. Be safe. Maybe purse robberies, like robberies increasing this week. I'm not trying to put it in the air, Spirit. It's just warning me, be careful purse snatchings, you know, like hunting things down, right? Um, you may lose something and you got to hunt it down. Man hunts. Be careful with your children. Keep an eye on your children. Pray for your children hard this week. A lot of prayers. Pray for the world. Pray for world peace. Um, it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Pray for world peace. Pray for the light workers, the people who are out here doing light magic to keep people safe. And is out here, you know, working to keep things balanced. Pray for the light workers. Pray for the star seeds, the indigo children, the crystal children, the 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 angels, you know, the earth angels who are helping keep the earth, you know, earth guardians. You know what I mean? We got the key. So we have an apple and a key. Someone may maybe should be eating apples organic. Organic real apples. Look for the number nine on your fruit. Um apples. So apple could be of significance to someone. Someone may even be eating an apple watching me. We have the key. So someone may have a key to something. That could be even a spiritual key. Um, symbol for a spiritual key. I have no clue what this charm is. Bunny. Got a rabbit. Someone may be seeing rabbits. I've been seeing rabbits all around my neighborhood. And that's that Taurus full moon, which is speaking of fertility. Fertile time. Fertile moon. We have a bird. Someone may have birds in their house. Someone may own a rabbit or a bird. 
or a hare, you know, something like that. You may be seeing rabbits, bunnies, uh, you may own a bird. You maybe have it like have your keys around you, something like that. Or you have a, a key to a spiritual door or something like that. Um, you may be seeing a lot of birds, but this looks like someone who owns birds. Butterflies, you may be seeing a lot of butterflies, which speaks of, speaks of transformation. So we have messenger birds speak of sending a message and the rabbit representing fertility, um, fertile opportunities, you know, fertile, fertile physically. So some of y'all may be growing your families. You need to eat more fruit. Eat more fruit. Seahorse. Told you. It's something with the ocean. You have the seahorse. Seahorse can mean something to someone. But that speaks of the ocean. Someone, people need to go by the ocean. Do prayers by the ocean. If you live by the beach and you can go to the beach, go to the beach. Do prayers. Go leave offerings at the beach. If you can't get to a beach, leave offerings at the lake or river for the ancestors on um, Tuesday, All Saints Day. Go leave water offerings. Go take fruit to the um, to the to the ocean. Love. Someone's in love. Or they may be about to find love. This is for someone who is a Libra. By the way, it could be a Taurus or Scorpio because you may be an earth sign, right? Because we got earth element. This is about stability, the physical world, nature. I told you this is impact shaman healer, you know. So it's about earth, nature, solid foundation, be patient, right? Being rooted and grounded. Some of y'all may need to work with Archangel Ariel. Since Archangel Ariel is the Earth Guardian. Scorpio, you may be a Scorpion, which represents transformation. The butterfly, secrets. Um, people may have been keeping secrets from you, but that's going to come to light. Um, mysterious, intense. Some of y'all may come off mysterious and intense. Manipulative, be careful of that manipulative energy in the air right now. Destructive, as I'm saying, it's going to be, it's a very destructive energy in the air. Jealous, be careful of fights, people being jealous of you. Primal, there's very ancient energy in the air, primal and lustful. Um, be careful who you are having sex with at this time, being intimate with at this time. It's, it is a, just be careful who you are laying down with at this time. Seriously, be careful who you are sharing your body with at this time because you'll get pregnant. Um, a lot of people who are just having one night stands and not having sex with condoms, protecting themselves, will be getting pregnant during this moon. A lot of pregnancies, a lot of babies are going to be conceived during the next, I'm being told, like the next three cycles. Be careful. Very fertile three cycles are here. Ripe, sensuous, self-indulgent. Um, a lot of selfish people, you know. Um, sacrifice rituals, occult, esoteric energy. Um, be patient because whatever you're working on is going to reap. It's a fertile time. So whatever you've been planting seeds the last month or two, you're going to see ma major progress, major rewards from it. Be rational. Again, this is being careful because you have people who are jealous of you who are looking to start fights with you. Um, loyal. You know, Taurus represents loyalty, comforts, materialism, food. That's why we got the apple. Eat healthy food during this time. Garden if you can. Um, eat food from your garden. Eat, eat, eat fresh food from gardens. So if you can go to like the farmer's market, go to the farmer's market, y'all, this month. It is the food coming from the farms is super ripe and healthy at this time. So definitely get your food. And you're like, oh, it's super expensive. Trust me. It will benefit. Like whatever it normally would do is going to do it. It's going to magnify, right? Like if an apple from a regular supermarket is nowhere as nutritious as it used to be. But at the farmer's market, even if it's like, let's say it used to give you five times the energy, it will give you like eight or nine currently. 
So definitely food from the farmer's market, like, or out of your garden is more potent at this time. And um, earth, pay attention to the earth, ground, spend more time outside. Listen to me when I tell you guys, if my videos ever find you and come across your timeline, I am an earth angel. I am a earth guide. I am all about Mother Kai, Mother Earth. I am all about Mother Nature. I am a humanitarian for earth. And um, we, we really need to start taking care of earth. So you may be a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Libra. Your sun or your moon may be in Scorpio. Your sun or your moon may be in Taurus. Your sun or your moon may be in Libra or Gemini. Your sun or your moon may be in Gemini. We have the Eye of Ra, which means good luck and fortune. Double apple, confirmation on the apple. Someone could be a school teacher. Someone loves apples that's watching me. It could be a school teacher as well. Or a doctor. A doctor could be watching me. And a four-leaf clover, a lot of good luck. Holy crap, a lot of good luck. Money. A lot of money in the air. That's what I'm telling you. Um, if you could do a ritual of a candle, go to a spiritual store tomorrow or on Amazon. You get same day delivery. Get a green candle and burn a green candle this week. A big one or a orange one. Um, yellow, orange, or green. And write on the candle money, abundance, and prosperity. Okay? Right? Even if it's on the side, if it's the big tin can, get a big candle. Get glass, a big glass one or the big tin one. And write money, abundance, and prosperity. It's a very fertile time. Libra. So we have Libra. Confirmation on the Libra. Confirmation on the Scorpio. Wow. Confirmation. I might like try to pull something else. Pisces. So Pisces can be your north or your south node. Um, it could be your sun or your moon. So we have, if, the, if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, Pisces anywhere in your chart, Gemini, Libra. So Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, or Taurus anywhere in your chart. Pull one more. And Aquarius. There you go. So if you have Pisces, if you have Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Whether it's your sun or your moon, look and see where you have those signs at in your chart and take this video how it resonates. Hopefully I spoke to someone. Because when I speak, I speak with love, and when I speak, I speak to the collective, all right? I speak out, I speak to the universe, okay? I speak for all the earth, all the earth angels, all the earth guides, you know what I mean? All the people who come from other kind. All right, not, not, the, not the charms not wanting to get put away. kidding me right now sorry y'all <laughs> they're like sticking there we go all right let's see what other numbers want to come to us with the, the shells seashells we have the number something no so no five six three Nine, two. So we have two, nine, five. I take note of the numbers I told you earlier and take note of these. Two, nine, five, three, six. And the answer is no to something. So two, nine, five, three, six could be 36 years old, could be 53, 63, 39, 59, 69. 29, 52, 32, 62, you know what I mean? Take this how it resonates. 53, 56, 59, you know what I mean? Birthday could be of significance, 23rd on the 26th or the 29th or the 25th. Take these numbers how they resonate. Let's see where you who may be watching or a state that may be of importance could be where your soulmate is, you know what I mean? Or like a family member 
or these states may be of significance. You may be traveling there. Carolina, the Carolinas, Indiana, or you could be from there or live there. Colorado, Tennessee, North, so North Carolina, South Carolina, so you could live in the south side, north or south side of a place, Louisiana, Michigan, and New Jersey. In Texas, since it's sticking out. So we got North or South Carolina, Tennessee, Louisiana, New Jersey, Tennessee, Carolina, the Carolinas, both North and South, Indiana, Colorado, Texas, Louisiana, New Jersey, and Michigan. So that's how it resonates. Or you can live on the North or the South side of somewhere. Or your apartment, or your zone. Sorry, I know it's loud. Or it could be a soulmate. Man, see? Uh, uh, this could be for a masculine watching me. Divine masculine. A man. Or about your man. V O S J E D Q I R. A. Those could be your initials. O. So we're going to have an O V S J F A I D E R Q. If this video found you and you could be a man watching, or this could be the initials of your man. I'm also getting die. Ooh, someone. Ooh, sorry. It's there though. Sorry. It was like the first three letters die. So, sorry. Um. I'd ride, seeing ride, someone might be getting a ride soon, or rides, like riding. Deer, someone may call you deer, or someone's going to run into, like, um, like, you know, uh, uh, writing a deer letter, I don't know, but we have deer. Not deer like a deer, but deer, D-E-A-R. Hmm. Again, the letters are V-O. Maybe you got a word coming in your mind. V-O-S-J-F-A-R-I-D-E-Q is the initials coming out. Far, someone could be far away. A jar, jars, soar, you know, spirit wants you to soar. Something can be dire. Someone's side may be hurting or side could be of importance. Fire, someone needs to be careful and there may be fires. That's what I'm saying. I've been seeing fires, like fire energy. So that's what I'm saying. Someone might be going through a transformation or pay attention to fires happening on the news or around you, fires. Because we have arson. No, we don't have an N, but I just saw the word arson. Be careful of an arson. Voice, no, no, see, hmm. yes, yeah, I some weird letters. Um, fade, right? Someone might, you know, hairstyle rocking a fade. <laughs> Void. Someone might need to avoid a check or avoid a void. Someone might need to avoid someone. Someone might be feeling um, sore, like physically sore. Someone might be getting roses, a rose, love roses. 
but hopefully a few of those words and letters came to someone. All right, y'all, let's get into the, the, the deep part of the message. Hopefully some of these things resonated. Oh, let me pull some words. Spirit, I've always been forgetting lately since I've gotten the, the seashell, doing my seashell, you know, divination lately. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you want to see more, um, detailed videos like this and it speaks to you and you're like an earth angel and or like, you know, you love the earth, you love grounding, you love nature, you know, you're a nature person, you're an outdoor person, um, and these readings resonate with you. You know what I mean? You're you you you're more spiritual, right? And you're raising your vibrations, and you want to help the collective. You know, you're a healer. You're a natural. It, it, subscribe if you're a naturally giving person, right? Um, you give more than you receive, right? You're always helping people. That's me. We're family, you know. So definitely subscribe and support your girl. All right, we have heart. See, you have a big heart. Whoever's watching me, gently. You're very gentle. Sleep. Get sleep. Spirit is telling us there's importance to sleeping at this time. We're getting downloads. And, and it might be how they're protecting us during this very occultic transformation. I knew it. Um, be careful. It's telling you to be gentle on your heart during your transformation in sleep. Get rest. Because you're going to get illuminated. You're going to get a spiritual upgrade. A lot of y'all going through spiritual. And it's telling you to illuminate. Be yourself. Wear your heart on your sleeve. Show who you really are. Take the mask off. So we got transformation. Heart. Gently sleep and illuminate. Alright. I'm going to put these over here. My new spirit wanted me to dig in that bag for purpose. Then let's see what other charms. I do different kinds of divination. I'm a, you know, I, I am evolving spiritually. You know what I mean? I don't just do tarot or, um, I don't do traditional tarot, by the way. I do oracle cards. Like, I like, um, I, I, that's why I was, I don't feel like I'm a tarot reader because I don't use traditional tarot at all. Um, I use customized decks, right? Like, decks that, um, were specially made for the name of my channel right if you're an empath if you're a star seed an indigo child you know you love crystals you love sage you know things like that if you're like that's why i said like if you're like a hippie you know what i mean if you're not a hippie you're very spiritual and giving like you know what i mean so this this is why i made this channel you have a peacock which you can speak of ocean or your moja trying to work with someone but a peacock, which means you're beautiful. It's like show your feathers. Mr. Potato Head is showing up. I don't know if Spirit's saying somebody's got a potato head. <laughs> or someone's got a big old potato head. We got Captain America with a shield. So someone may be protecting you, right? Captain America may be protecting you. An elephant may be of significance. We have the X, so deaf. That's that death and rebirth showing up. The death, the transformation. A heart. Someone's got their a heart in their hand. You know, someone's heart in their hand. We got Iron Man. Or someone might love Captain America or Iron Man. Take this how it resonates. Uh, Whataburger. Somebody might love Whataburger or is eating Whataburger. Care Bear, somebody, Spirit's telling us to have a caring heart. That's what I'm saying. That's that be gentle on the heart. Be kind to people. And Batman, someone might be watching Batman because it's Halloween, right? Or the bat signal, like pay attention to the signal. I think that speaks of signs and symbols, like Spirit going to send you signs and symbols. Pay attention for the signs. All right. And then we got Elmo. Take that how that resonates. I saw Elmo. He stuck out. Take that how that resonates. Elmo showing itself. So we got Elmo, Peacock. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Spiritual transformation. Elmo could be speaking of like live life with a childlike heart. An elephant. You may love elephants. Um, or look up what they mean spirit wise, like spirit animal wise. Someone has their heart in their hand. Um, someone has a caring heart or needs to have a caring heart. 
uh, Mr. Potato Head. I'm still trying to figure out what that means. Could be a masculine is watching me. Um, Deaf. I hope no one's passing away, but um, my condolences if someone has just had someone pass away or who may transition. I'm not wishing that on anyone. Um, or it could speak of your personal transformation. We've got Iron Man, Captain America, and Whataburger. Take all that. How that resonates. Let's jump in it, baby. Let's get to these decks. All right, spirit. Spirit, I ask you to communicate with me for the highest good. This is why I ask your per permission and consent because I am touching some former cards. If you are going to stay further through this reading, please give me consent. If you said yes. Just nod your head. We will begin. Spirit, I ask my spirit guides. I ask my angels. I ask my guardian angels. I ask my divine mother. I ask the divine source. I ask my ancestors to cover and protect me with love and light during this reading. Please guide my hand. What is it that you want the collective to know? I ask the divine mother, divine source. I ask that mother nature, mother Kai, mother Gaia, guide my hand during this reading. I ask the angels of the light, the guardian angels the ancestors to guide my hand and protect me and protect those who watch me. We appreciate you. We are humble. We are grateful. We are thankful. I share. Blessed be. Amen. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Let me use the keepers of the light and see who wants to communicate with us. I thank y'all so much for being here and watching me. I really do. I love y'all. In case you ain't been told you are loved, you are loved and you are appreciated. Keep having that big old heart, all right? I see your heart. I see it all through the reading already. Keep having a big heart. Keep keep being a good spirit. We need it. Don't let people don't let people take your heart because that's what they want. They want people to become hateful and hurtful. Don't do it. Don't feed the hate. Don't feed the propaganda, y'all. We have Odin showing up at the bottom. Odin is saying psychic insight. I told you that's why they want us to sleep. Some of y'all are going to be getting a lot of downloads in your dreams. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Odin showing up. Talking about psychic insight. Some of y'all may have psychic abilities. The gift of sight, faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Have faith, y'all. Keep faith. Faith is a powerful thing. The divine director. Intervention and purpose that speaks of the divine creator. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Intervention and purpose. The divine creator is showing up. The divine director. You are being divinely guided. That's how you found this channel. You didn't come upon this channel by accident, my loves. Divine intervention is happening in your life. And know that you are being guided and supported. Freya. Phases and cycles. I told you this is the death. This is why Taurus. The death of the veil. Death of the old earth. Death of the old ways. Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. This is where we're happening, right? A lot of us are being reborn, going through new beginnings. Illusions are revealed and released. That's the veil coming down. All the illusions, the secrets are coming out. Things are being exposed. Phases and cycles with Freya. So we have Odin, we have the mother, the all-father, and his wife. We have Freya and Odin on the map. Huge energy already. Huge. So, as I told you, I'm going to be using fairy cards. This is a fairy reading. And I'm sorry if you waited like, where's the fairy cards? Get to it already. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. So we're going to use this deck, which is the Fairy Forest deck. It's called the 
fairy forest. That's why I'm saying I use custom, you know, custom oracle decks. Like I, I don't, I don't do traditional tarot here. You know, that's why my channel is unique. You know, and it's different. I do different things. You know what I mean? Because I'm looking to speak to those who are different. The fairy norm, planning, patience, cooperation. So if you look, she's looking in the mirror and she sees a unicorn. A unicorn is reflecting back to her. Know that the universe sees you at a unicorn. Anyone watching this video and you made it this far, comment down below in the comment section right now. Put the unicorn symbol, put a fairy in the chat. Let's go, put a fairy or a unicorn and that's how I'm gonna know you've watched this video. Unicorn or fairy, or right, unicorn fairy. I've all, you know, let me know how you've always been connected to them. But it says the fairy norm, planning, patience, and cooperation. Spirit is telling you, be patient. They are co-creating with you. Good things are coming. Make a solid plan. Visualize what it is you want. Plan out what you want and visualize it. Have dreams. That's why vision is there. Visualize what it is you want. Make a vision board and then journal it, right? Go make a vision board. Like, I'm sure y'all watch many channels of people telling vision boards work, y'all. Make a vision board, I implore you. And then journal what you put on the vision board that you want. And be grateful for it. Express it as if it's already happened with gratitude. The Green Witch, Fresh New Spring. So some of y'all are green thumbs. Some of y'all are gardeners. Some of y'all love nature. Some of y'all are tree huggers. You know, you love going to the park. You love working with nature. I'm getting heavy gardener energy, though, like plant mom. Some of y'all can even be plant moms or plant dads or gardeners, right? But it says the Green Witch. Or you like working with herbs. Fresh New Spring. So this is what I'm saying. There is a rebirth coming. This is the earth rebirthing herself. And all the green witches, there will be a fresh new spring. The number seven, this speaks of spirit, speaks of the angelic realm being here. Because seven is the angelic realm, the, the ethereal higher realms. So, yes, they're saying a fresh new rebirth is coming. And the number 31 could be of significance. So we got seven and 31. Take these numbers how it resonate, but the green witch. And then we have the trickster, deceit, betrayal, and guile. Number 19 can be of significance for someone. Someone is a trickster spirit around you. Be careful. Um, someone is deceiving. Someone is not being who they really mean to be. Someone is masking who they really are. So be careful. You have deceit, betrayal, and guile around you. The trickster, number 19. Someone is uh, masking their real intentions around you or, you know what I mean, or who they are. Be careful who this deceiver may be, you guys. Someone may, you, some of y'all may be coming into a love that's not your real soulmate. It's a very trickster energy. It's to keep you from your real soulmate. Be careful. And then we have the elf queen. So we have the elf queen showing up for us. And she is letting us know introverted burden responsibility. Some of y'all are queens that are watching me. Now this part is for a divine feminine, right? Some of y'all or or male, like heavy is the head that wears the crown, right? You've been you've been in your divine, you've been in your high priestess. Like for y'all that know traditional terms, this is like that that high priestess, high priest energy, right? The emperor, the empress, right? The Elf Queen. Some of y'all are very introverted and feel like you carry a lot of burdens and responsibility. But the Elf Queen is here showing up to work with you. That's that co-cooperation, co, co, co right? The cooperation, the co-creating with you. Be patient and plan out. Um, fresh new beginnings are here, but don't get deceived because it'll block your blessings from you to be this queen. Right, it's to keep you out of your queen, you know, keeping you hostage, right? Like introverted and burdened with responsibility, some that aren't even yours. Um, let's go with this fairy deck next. 
take that how that resonates, you know. So we have the number 13, which is divine feminine energy. That's why I said I felt like that was feminine energy. I'm speaking to a, a divine feminine about that part. But we have the 13, 19, 7, and 31. Take those dates how they resonate. It could be the day of your birthday or your significant partner's birthday. Some of y'all might be dating a trickster whose birthday is on the 19th. Or is 19 years old. Take it how it resonates. Or they have a kid that's 19. This could be someone's age, your children's age, your age, or the day of your birthday. get started on pull we have let go some of y'all need to let go you're holding things too tightly be a butterfly go with the flow co-create with the universe trust let go stop resisting this is really speaking of your you're suffocating a butterfly you know let go let go of things that no longer serve your highest good be the butterfly. Stop resisting the changes that are coming in your life. Let go of control. Let go of this vision you had in mind for your future. And trust the universe. Let go and let flow. I'm going to say that again. Let go and let flow. Trust. Worry. Some of y'all are trapped with worry. You're afraid. So my spirit's telling you to let go. You got so much burdens and responsibilities on you. So now you're a worry war. This is what you look like. You are so worried. What are y'all worried about, y'all? What do you need to let go of that's no longer serving your highest good? That has you emotional and sleepless. That you need to be getting sleep transformation are you afraid of your transformation because it's here and you're you're trapping yourself like that's why you need to let go so you can become the butterfly it's the spirit trying to set you free to become a butterfly this is your transformation good things are coming but you have to let go of the pain first you have to let go of people and things and places let me repeat that people places and things that no longer serve your highest good because you are going through a Huge spiritual transformation and metamorphosis. As they say, you have to let go of old things and things that no longer serve your highest good to welcome in fresh things in your life. You have to be willing to sacrifice those things. Healing. Some of y'all are going under major healing. Stop worrying. The universe is co-creating with you. It's healing you. It's trying to help heal your heart. You are going through major healing and transformation. Big healing and transformation happening in your life. This is resonating for someone. No, you are not alone. The universe is with you hard. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? This is about wisdom. You're getting wisdom in your sleep. You're getting downloads. Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Some of y'all have a challenge and that's letting go. That's your challenge. Worrying and letting go. So you need to call on your inner fairy for the wisdom to help you with a challenge. 
And have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? You know, old soul, you're an old soul. You're an old spirit. You are wise beyond your years. This is hella relatable, I'm sure, to some of y'all. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Wish wisely. Some of y'all are going to see shooting stars. Some of y'all have been manifesting. When you're praying on that candle, wish wisely. Don't wish for men or women. Wish for yourself. Wish to heal yourself. Wish yourself to let go. Wish yourself to stop worrying. Like Wish things that work on you and everything else will come to you. All right. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Wish Manifestation told you heavy energy on someone is manifesting big things. That's why they're telling you. To tap into your wisdom. Some of y'all may even be seeing owls that can speak of Athena. So we got Athena here too. But the wish wisely. Then we got manifestation showing up. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. This is that wish wisely is confirmation. Because some of y'all right now are so fertile that whatever you speak will happen. Whatever you write will happen. Whatever you put on a vision board will happen. Whatever you visualize every day, keep taking 30 minutes meditating, grounding out in nature, visualizing what you want this week. And you will watch. It's going to come quick. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life and speak your manifestations out loud. Now write it down on paper, manifestation, step one, I told you, journal your manifestations. But be very clear and honest about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation, step one. Y'all about to, some of y'all about to manifest some potent, powerful things. Get some big money flowing in your life. Big upgrades in your, in your spiritual life, your home life. Some of y'all might be manifesting new homes. That's what I'm saying. Think outside of relationships. Like every time I talk to people, like, oh, I want love, I want love. I'm like, work on you. You will, you don't want someone from a lonely place because then y'all are just codependent, lonely people together. You want people, you want to manifest a man from an empowered place where you got your ish together or, or a man manifesting his queen from an empowered place, not this lonely syndrome place. You feel me? Purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. That's why I got that heart. Some of y'all got really good hearts and the care bear. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Trust your heart. Trust your intuition because you got a pure heart and you have good intentions for people and yourself. And there's the unicorn again. Confirmation on that unicorn. Some of y'all are unicorns. You don't even know it. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Whatever I'm tapped into, you are, you're a beautiful person. And I wish nothing but the best for whoever's energy this resonates for. Let's see what the uh, mystical wisdom is. And then we're going to start wrapping up. That spirit wants us to know the mystical wisdom that's coming through. Potential. Think big for your future, right? Spirit's telling you, think bigger than what you've been conditioned to. You have you have elemental nature spirits and fairies and all kind of that trying to help you look where you have the power to make a wish. Think big for your future. Think bigger than you've been conditioned to think, y'all. Think big, big. So if you like, oh, I just want, you know, five... 5,000 subscribers. Think 5 million. You know, think big. See yourself doing big things. See yourself changing the world. Healing the world. Sensuality. Express your sensuality. 
express your sensuality Ex like be in your divine energy whether it's a masculine or feminine own it be sensual be empowered express yourself be the true you dreams believe in your dreams and pay attention to your dreams you are getting major insights this is why we have the sleep get sleep y'all put the gadgets cut the tv off put the phones away even if you need to play singing bowls to put you to sleep dreams believe in your dreams all right and pay attention to your dreams believe in whatever it is you are trying to manifest visualize it see it even in your dreams dream about it feel it see it smell it taste it memories cherish memories of loved ones this is your ancestors this is um spirit guides but memories um cherish the memories of loved ones that's the other side it's the spirit realm coming through cherish those memories of those you have loved and that have passed on they maybe visit you in your dreams. Sacred forest. We have elves, playfulness. The elves are around you. So you have fairy and elves. Oh my God, some of y'all have so many nature spirits around you. Make some sense. They want you to be playful. They want you to have a childlike, childlike energy around you right now. Be light as a child. Laugh like a child. Play like a child. Go do things that make you feel childlike. Watch TV shows and movies that make you feel like a kid. I watched the new Ninja Turtle movie with my kid yesterday and I laughed so hard. And I loved the Ninja Turtles growing up. And the movie was so good. Go watch that like Ninja Turtle movie with your kids and laugh. I've been watching I Love Lucy and Golden Girls and Three Stooges again because I loved them as a kid. Shows that made me laugh from back in the day. The Jeffersons, Sanford and Son. Like do watch things that make you laugh. And, and, and go do things outside the house that make you feel good. It says meander, meandering pathway flow didn't i tell you to flow stop getting in your own way to go walk out in nature this also speaks of a pathway some of y'all may be meeting something on a pathway so like go on one of those walks at a park that got a pathway right go hiking up a mountain possibly there's an elder spirit that wants to communicate with you in the in the like out in nature at a park at, you know, like up in the mountains, wherever, out in nature where there's a pathway. But flow, pay attention to what you see when you're out walking on that pathway. But go with the flow and trust the universe. It's going to send you signs and synchronicities. Bluebird told you there was a bird. I told you someone owns a bird that's watching me or owns birds or keeps seeing birds. Bluebird spirit, happiness. Be happy, y'all. There's a unicorn right here. Look at that unicorn oh by the way the number 15 may be of significance birthday could be on the 15th or have a 15 year old or the birthday on the 24th could be 24 years old watching um seven could be a life path seven birthday could be on the seventh or have a seven year old is the unicorn you are a unicorn know this anyone watching me and if you love unicorns this is your sign but be happy so be happy and playful you need to lighten up your energy. You've been too serious, too, too adulting, too heavy. Lighten up, laugh every day, and ground every day. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to speed up your manifestations. The more we're in a jovial, happy mood, why do you think they keep us bogged down with negativity and distractions and fear, fear, scare tactics, everything on the news? Detach from social media. I'm telling you, take hours a day an hour a day, two hours a day, no social media. Go stand out on your porch, you know, in your front yard or your backyard. Ground, go to a park, ground. No technology and just commune with nature. And then come home and watch things that make you laugh. 
we have mystic meadow see again this is that meadow if you got a meadow a river a lake a park like i said you can go to do it it's your sanctuary we have a rabbit here a fox and a bear so take those how those resonate rabbit fox and a bear but the the mystic meadow out in nature is your sanctuary you, you are meant to be amongst nature and out in nature confirmation with the number 55 on the um on the phone maybe seeing 555 we have the number 26 here as well birthday could be on the 26 we could be 26 years old then we have toll stool on the bottom and again another confirmation number 44 so you may be seeing 5544 five, four. could be 55 or 44 watching me um but also um you be seeing 444 four, four, right but toll stools growth could be seeing butterflies, could be seeing frogs, little toads or whatever, and then growth. Some of y'all going through big spiritual growth confirmation. Ask yourself a question and I'll get an answer from spirit. Ask any question. The answer is yes. The hurdy-gurdy of happy accidents spin circumstances in your favor. You possess complete control over the situation, encouraging you to move energetically and purposefully toward bold dreams. Again, think big, big, bold dreams and ambitious desires. Stay ambitious. Sky is the limit. Sky is the limit. And if the answer is yes, it says the volcano. Remember I said the volcanoes erupt in Pele energy? The volcano of hot emotions reveals versatility in the situation however enjoy the versatility it makes life interesting use your irresistible desires to complete what you started so some of y'all might have started something and didn't finish it get to it let it help you in in two to three months you'll find a quality what is it qualitatively fresh approach you'll get some ideas and downloads so two to three months and the answer is yes all right hopefully this reading resonating with someone let's see what your spirit animal is the lynx keeper of secrets which suits scorpio season perfectly oh my god we have lynx keeper of secrets right we have take time out from the world and be the observer Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing, trust your intuition, trust your guides and what you feel and see. You see other secrets. Some of y'all, again, that's that divine sight confirmation. Some of y'all have clear, clairvoyance to see and psychic gifts, right? You see other secrets and keep them sacred. Some of y'all are very good friends. You don't gossip other people's business to other people. Let me tell you, that is a hard trait to find. So shout out to people who when people confide in you, you ain't spilling their tea. I don't care if it's to your parents or whatever. If someone confides in you and has private conversations with you, it is private conversations. Learn to keep people's secrets or private conversations to yourself and not be a gossiper. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and in solitude, you will find strength. Keeper of secrets, the lynx. Some of y'all may own a cat or own a lynx. Speaking to someone who may have be very much in a cat energy, have cat energy in them or on them. The nature, um, nature whispers to us breakthrough and butterfly energy all over. And the number eight, which speaks of power. That's that's the power. So you have power behind your manifestations. Power and wealth. Breakthrough. You have a major breakthrough. Nature is letting you know. It's whispering to you. Major breakthroughs are on the way for you. Stay focused. Number eight could be of significance. It's going to be a life path. Eight. Birthday on the eighth. Eighth day or eighth of the month. Then we have. Come on. I'm going to that deck. Then we have listen. So, so again, bird energy. Your higher self is telling you to listen. Listen to this video. Some of y'all may need to watch this video more than once to really let it sink in because this is spirit. You see it? The, the the spirit bird coming to you is telling you to listen and pay attention to birds when they come to you. Listen. Go out in nature and listen to nature. 
All right, y'all, I hope this video resonated. I love you guys. This is where I'm going to um, conclude. I sever this energy. I thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope y'all love the reading because I love you and I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much to everybody who likes, shares, subscribes to the channel. Thank you so much to everybody who um, leaves positive messages and comments on the videos. I thank you. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed. Namaste. No more Himalaya. Peace and blessings. Love and light, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, a little bell, to so continue to push me out. Please leave a comment down below if you made it all the way through to the um, end of the video. Unicorn or fairy. All right, you guys. Stay blessed. Peace.